In this video, I'm excited to share with you some quick market stats and most importantly, give you a sneak peek at what the market's gonna look like for the rest of this year and probably the rest of the next 18 months. So be sure to stick around to the end. Okay, we got a lot to cover today, so I'm gonna dive right in and we're just gonna go through the stats really quick here. Um, sales price, looking at average sales price in our market of 350,000 and you know, the trend is still heading upwards uh, as we can see here and we may very well be at the top of this curve here. So let's check out days on market. Days on market's holding steady at six days. And as you can see, that's leveled off uh, over the last few months, back since November, actually, it's six days. <clears throat> Along with months of supply, also sitting at 1.2 months. Again, leveling off, <clears throat> but it is up 9% from this time last year. So that's one leading indicator there. The months of supply is getting a little bit longer. Percent of list price, um, still 100% right now, but we're gonna circle back around to that here in a little bit. But just note that as of June, you know, everything's still going for 100% list price. But like I said, I'll give you some more information on that uh, towards the end of the video. So. Here's the exciting part that's gonna show an indication of definitely a shift in the market and the market is shifting right now. As you can see, the, the number of new listings uh, month over month, so from June of 2021 to June of 2022 has gone up 2.3%. And you can see the trend here, it was down in March, you know, that was the new listings we had 20,000 and now we're up to 20,200. Not a whole lot, but it is on the rise. So that, the next thing we're gonna look at that ties together with that is, to paint this picture, is homes for sale. This is a significant stat, because if we look at the year over year, we're up 10%, over 10% on our inventory. So the number of homes for sale is up 10%, which is huge. And of course, as we look at the trend for that, you can see that the number of, the amount of inventory since August last year has been on the rise, you know, ever so slightly, but things are headed in the upward direction. The number of pending sales, so that's homes that are under contract right now, it's actually dropping and it's dropped 3.3% over last year. And the number of closed sales, so the number of homes sold actually has dropped. So both of these trends are indicating market slowdown. And as you can see in the graph, you know, the trend graph here, you know, we've been kind of slowing down since the beginning of this year, all the way down, 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 down. That's pending and these are closed. The, cl the number of closed sales has took a pretty dramatic drop. And that one was the one, um, you know, the. 5.2% decrease from last year, and this is a 3.3, coupled with an increase in inventory. So inventory is going up, number of sales are going down, um, and that's definitely indicating a shift in the market, you know, back towards more of a buyer's market. Again, this is just the beginning, and if you are thinking of selling your, your home, now may be the time before, uh, before things go down. So the way this all works with the markets is, is you have the sales price still super high right now, um, but this is just the beginning right here where the market starts to shift the other way. We start getting more inventory, less sales coming out, so less people selling their house, less houses being sold. Days on market is, are gonna start to climb months of supply is going to start to climb um, and then the last thing that will finally happen is percent of list price will actually decrease and this you know is predicted to take place in the next six to 18 months as we enter the recession so what does this mean this means that if you're looking to buy a home you, you might be good to hang out because the prices will start to go down and of course, this number here, 100%, I can tell you from on the, 
the ground experience that the last two contracts that I just put under contract this month in June were we got both of those houses under contract for under the asking price. One of them was significantly lower than the asking price. So we can feel the shift in the market and um, times are changing. Hey, thanks for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos in this series. If you have any real estate related questions or would just like to speak further about uh, buying or selling a home in Tucson, be sure to go over to stevedooley.com. Visit stevedooley.com and you can book an appointment. I'm happy to chat with you and see how we can help you out. So right now, just go ahead and watch another video in this series. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.